All right, guys, so today we're going to talk real quickly about deploying our tourniquet. And in this situation that we need to deploy a tourniquet, obviously we're under the, um, the general understanding that every second is going to count because we're in the process of bleeding to death, right? So it's important that we pressure test our training, pressure test our gear. In this case, while wearing gloves um, in a semi-high stress training uh, situation, I'm going to show you how my gear failed me. I'm going to tell you why. So watch this video real quick that I'm about to show you from one of our training videos. And then we'll talk about how this failed and then what we can do. Three cool tips that we could do by changing the gear to make sure that this doesn't happen when we're wearing gloves or if this happened to be at night. All right, so now in that video you saw, it was hard for me to get the Velcro undone from the main strap here to then tighten up the tourniquet. Even before that, one of the things that we saw by where I my uh, tourniquet placed in one of those mag pouches that's not being used, when I went to pull it out, the rod actually got stuck inside the fast tech. So then I couldn't pull it out because this was stuck in here and the bottom part of the tourniquet was still in the mag pouch. So again, gear placement, one of those things that every other time I'd ever pulled it out, never got stuck in that fast tech. And then of course, in this time, when we're doing it in the training drill, this gets stuck in. But that's not the one I want to talk to you about, but it's just something to, if you watch the video again, check that out. But here is what I want to show you. So we're going to show you three variations of this. So in that video, I'm just going to do this real quick so you can see it, right? I have the tourniquet on my leg and I go to pin the tourniquet and you see me, I'm wearing my gloves and I'm grabbing at this and grabbing at this and it took me three failed attempts. And then on the fourth attempt, right? See how when I'm trying to get this? On the fourth attempt, I finally got it and I was able to bring this in and tighten up that tourniquet on my leg. So... Here's variation number one we can do when stowing our tourniquet. So the first one is going to be this. Real simply is I can offset the very end of the tourniquet like this. So now this will still fold up in my gear. But here, if it's night or if I'm wearing gloves, I have this tab that I can grab and now quickly make tight. Variation number two is this. I can put the Velcro on and then put a little dog ear here and then tighten up the, um, the rest of the Velcro here so I have this dog ear. So now when I come here and pin this, I grab the dog ear and now I can make that tight. The third variation would simply be taking the end of the tourniquet and some, of, some tourniquets will have this. 
But if you don't, what we can do is simply take a piece of tape. This is just if, if you want your stuff to be super streamlined. We can take a piece of tape and essentially tape off the last bit of Velcro on our tourniquet like this. And now when I go and run this, if I want it to be just super slick, it's fine. Now when I go here, I do that and now I have a dog ear. And like I said, some of the newer tourniquets have this little dog ear built in. But in this case, I can come here, I can grab that and tighten it up. Either one of those will work. You can see what works for your gear and how you're stowing it. But the main thing is when I keep this here and the Velcro is completely adhered like this, when I have my hand slick and it's not on, it's super easy to pull off. But you can see in that video with this Velcro nice and tight so it's super clean when I'm putting it away and, and handling my gear and stowing it, right? With gloves on, it was hard to deploy and get that Velcro up. And if it had been nighttime, it would have cost me even more time. And time is not on our side when we're trying to deploy the tourniquet. So those are three variations that I recommend for stowing their tourniquet, which will help alleviate the issue you saw in that video.